We are talking about polycystic kidney disease. My guests are Dr. Joni Hansen and Antoinette Nicholas. Thank you very much for coming in. First of all, what is PKD? So doctor, tell us what it is. Give us a primer on this. So polycystic kidney disease is a disease that affects the kidney. It's a gener genetically inherited um, and it uh, leads to um, abnormal kidney function and potentially could lead to end-stage kidney disease and requiring dialysis or transplantation. And what happens is that in polycystic kidney disease, the kidney develops multiple cysts that actually um, impair normal function of the kidney. At what age does somebody contract this disease, get this disease? It's, it's hereditary, we should say. Correct. So it is hereditary. Hereditary. It's in what they, we call an autosomal dominant um, genetic um, disease of the kidney, where so it's um, a dominant gene. It's a dominant getting. gene, so that um, children from someone who has polycystic kidney disease have a 50% chance of inheriting the gene and developing the disease. And generally, what happens with the disease is oftentimes people present with high blood pressure and then over time um, their kidneys will enlarge with cysts and then their kidney function will decline and over the point of time they can decline to requiring dialysis uh, generally later in life. Um, uh, it's very rare for someone to be on dialysis um, uh, below the age of 40 but as people's age increase um, the, the, the chance of requiring uh, what we call renal replacement therapy that would include transplantation. So Antoinette Yes. This affects you. You met Dr. Hansen about 15 years ago. You're a yes. nephrologist, so you've become very close. Yes. 15 years ago, yes. what happened? Did you have symptoms that no, you had this disease? my sister was sick, and she went to the emergency room for something totally different. She had pneumonia, and while she was there, they were doing a chest x-ray, but then somehow it led to her kidneys, and they found the cyst in her kidneys and that's when they diagnosed her with polycystic kidney disease. So then she called me up and um, told me that I should go get tested and I was 32 and I went to get tested. Your mother has it? Yes. Your brother has it? Yes. Who else in your family? Um, my your grandmother, unc you my, gra my mother's mother had it and my mother's brother had it uh, and he is deceased now but he had a heart attack. So this comes as a complete shock to you. Yes in some respects. Yes. You have three siblings yes. with PKD. How common or uncommon is that, doctor? Um, it occurs in about one in every 400 to 1,000 um, people. We're so all siblings? Um, well, it's, it's, it, the odds there, it's each child has a 50% chance see. of inheriting the, the gene and then the disease. So and one would have thought that the odds would have been better that one sibling wouldn't have it, but it, each child has a 50% chance. So your sister and you and your brother and your mom, what goes through your head when you're told that you have this disease and you're probably looking at a transplant at dialysis? So what does Antoinette Necklace think when she's diagnosed? Well, when I was first diagnosed, I definitely cried a lot that day because I didn't know anything about the disease and then I did some research and realized well it probably won't really affect me until my 50s like um, my family and myself have not suffered from it but I'm sure there are other people who maybe have pain in their kidneys a lot but so far that has not been our case your mother is on dialysis correct yes she's awaiting a transplant yes you are now on the transplant list, yes. brand new. Yes. Your brother's on the transplant. Yes. Your sister has... My sister is doing well. She's had a transplant. No, she... She's also on the list. No, she, Not yet. her kidneys are doing well. She doesn't need to be on the list. She has just about normal function. What are the... My sister-in-law, who is married to my brother, has the same disease. That is so rare. That yes, you're, that um, is very So on rare. both sides of your family. What are the chances, doctor, of somebody getting a kidney transplant? What, what are the rates these days that somebody gets a transplant? So when you look at kidney transplantation for um, individuals who are waiting on the transplant list, it's generally between three to five years, depending on blood types and sensitivities to uh, certain uh, markers on cells. 
Um, there's also living donation, uh, which um, ha it has a very high success rate, and it doesn't have to be a living-related uh, individual. It could be um, a friend, a spouse um, that can donate. Um, How hard is it to get a match? Um, it depends on the blood type. Okay. You know, it really, it depends on, on, on uh, certain individuals or certain uh, uh, may have uh, high sensitivities that it's harder to match them so having uh, sometimes multiple children having multiple transfusions having a prior transplant may sensitize you mm -hmm. uh, may, and make it more difficult to find a match. Antoinette what is it like to be on a transplant list? Did you ever in your wildest imagination no. think no. in your 50s no. that you're going yes. on a trans? No. What is that like? No. Um, at first it was really scary like I didn't know what to expect but you go through a lot of testing so it's not not everybody can get a transplant like you have to go for EKG you have to go for a stress test you have to make sure your colonoscopies are up to date breast exams teeth cleaning because they want and the person donating the kidney has to go through testing also it's because you know they want you to be healthy and the person who's going to donate. Sure. So. How far away is she from dialysis? Well, we're hoping, we're, hoping. <laughs> we're hoping to keep, you know, yeah. to keep her uh, kidney function stable. But and how do you do that with somebody with this disease? So, so when people have polycystic kidney disease, probably the the the, the most beneficial thing that that we can do for them is to control their blood pressure, control their blood pressure with certain medications early on, mm -hmm. make sure they stay well hydrated, um, and avoid uh, medications that can actually harm the kidney. Um, and follow over time. Uh, fortunately, uh, polycystic kidney disease uh, in most cases is something that progresses slowly over time, but it still does progress. Yeah. And so um, when um, someone's kidney function gets below 20, 25% to normal, you want to start preparing them for what's in the future. And that's what happened to you? Yes, I go for blood work once a month. So that's going to be hard. You go into the office and you're Oh, what are my numbers going to be? Yes. It becomes a <laughs> yes. numbers game, God, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so as somebody who has this disease, mm -hmm. who's on a transplantation list, yes. whose family has this, this is pervasive in your family, you've got three kids. Yes. Would you test your kids? Is it up to them? What, what are your thoughts about that? My thoughts Because you need a kidney. Yes, but my thoughts for me are, if one of my children have it, I'd rather they donate to each other. My husband can't donate to me because he was born with one kidney. What are the <laughs> odds of these two families coming together and having PKD on both sides? Yes. Your husband only has one kidney. Your outlook is one of um, just so positive. Yes. And where does well, that come from? Because I know there's good people in the world. My sister-in-law got a transplant from my cousin's wife. So it stayed in the family? Yeah. And uh, she had her transplant about 12 years ago, and she's doing fine. How soon does she need a transplant to stay out of dialysis? I mean, no, we talked about um, it being a numbers well, game, but is it's it... It's like a crystal ball. Right. It, it's, so it's, you can't say a year or two or three But she's years. close enough that if there was a potential donor, we would evaluate that person and get them set so that she could get the transplant before she required to start dialysis. So now's the time if somebody were potentially interested in donating a kidney for them to be evaluated. How do you do that? Um, so you can call the, um, uh, Antoinette is uh, listed at the Yale Transplant Center, so you can call uh, the Yale uh, New Haven Hospital Transplant Service and speak to the coordinator in charge of potential donors. Um, and identify them that they're a, they want to be um, uh, studied to see if they're a potential candidate to donate a kidney specifically to Antoinette. How many people are on the waiting list right now for oh. kidneys in Connecticut? Do you know? Um, can you ballpark? Can you ballpark it? Uh, quite a few. I, I don't know the exact number. Hundreds, thousands. No, hun uh, There's a lot. Hundreds, definitely hundreds. hundreds. There's a lot. Yeah. And you move up by yes, how sick you are. Yes. So actually, um, kidney transplantation because there is a form of uh, replacement therapy. 
uh, in general, it's a waiting time. Um, so it, uh, on, a, on rare occasion when someone can't receive dialysis, whether it's the hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis, that they move up. I but see. otherwise, it's really your length of time on the waiting list because there is a form of replacement therapy as opposed to heart and livers. Antoinette, you said you wanted, yes, you're on a waiting list. Yes, you need a kidney. Mm -hmm. It is in your family. But you want to get the message out about yes. this disease. Yes. Tell me about that. Um, well, because I feel that, um, like, I had kidney stones younger, and I was never diagnosed with it. A couple of times I had pain in my sides and I went to an emergency room and I was not diagnosed with it. I understand that the cyst could be minimal, that they can't see it, but I just figure it's good to get the word out because I don't feel like a lot of people know about this disease. I feel like I see these people, I go sometimes with my mother to dialysis and I see so many people with diabetes or whatever else they have that's hurting their kidneys and I think wow I'm sure there are people in here that qualify just as much as my mother and I just feel bad that you know that they have to go through that. You want to add to that? And, and the thing about polycystic kidney disease it's uh, it's a, uh, over a course of many years decades that people progress um, and truly with any other type of disease the earlier you identify someone the more uh, able you are to maybe modify mm -hmm. the progression with medications um, and hydration and just knowing in general what to expect and how mm -hmm. to best manage someone going forward. And also um, there's a lot of research being done in the field of polycystic kidney disease where they're trying to recruit people early on uh, as well as later and, and, and you know people may be able to help further research by becoming involved in some of these studies. And we should say yeah. get signed up we all can live with one kidney. Right. Mm -hmm. right. We can donate and save a life. Yeah. Or even on your license, when you go, you right. could donate organs. Like my mother's been on the list almost five years. And she's waiting. So. How is the dialysis going for your mom? Uh, it's better now. <laughs> better now. Some she had a little seas, bit of a I'm rough sure. time. Yeah. But she's doing better now. Dr. Joni Hansen and Antoinette Nicholas, thank you for coming on and telling us about this disease. And we are wishing you all the luck in the thank world you. that you get yeah. a kidney. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I made a trivial pursuit, spent one this end. Who is this girl I spent all night kissing? And if one was right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetracked to find my solution. I found the keys to the door, but it's also a metaphor. Things keep locked in the grocery store of the mind. Just to save time, I skip right ahead to the last ride. The harder we look, the less we can see. Don't you know, you know, you know that you. Me.